So the other part of this duo is if we go hit B, deco curve drag dot, uh, you're going to see again we have a curve brush, it's a drag dot stroke now and we have this alpha. So now I drag this curve out and then I start pulling it, you're going to see it's going to have the entire alpha stretched along that curve. And this one's a lot less destructive, you're going to see as I pull it around, it's going to move it. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that intensity and tap to update and you're going to see it's going to update on the fly, but hold down alt and tap to update. It's going to make it subtractive. I can tap it again, it'll make it positive. So again, super non-destructive. And just like the other one, uh, you have all the curve functions available to you. And let's go ahead and hit Control D on this uh, sphere to get a little bit more resolution so you can see a little bit better. So here's the arrow. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to change it to a star. There's the star now. And all you have to do again, you just have to tap and update it and it's stretching that alpha across that curve. I can make this curve longer just by going back and just keeping dragging out and then I'll tap to update and it'll drag that alpha even further. And just like the other one, if we go all the way up here and we say elastic, we can go through here and I can continue pulling. It's going to keep this uh, side the same. It's going to keep dragging that alpha across the surface. If I go to liquid, kind of the same thing, but it's going to, it'll also allow me to pull backwards. So now I can make this shorter and I can kind of clean up my alpha so I can continue to make this curve smaller, 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 smaller. And I can even pull from the middle if I want to. And like I said before, five is snapshot, six is smooth. So if I hit six, you're gonna see it smooths that curve out. And then I just need to tap that curve to update it. And then I'll go ahead and smooth out that stroke. Now, because it is liquid or elastic, you can pull out both ends and I'll continue to make this bigger. I can actually pull from here and pull down here. It'll continue to make these bigger. And if we turn both of those off, now it'll act like a, it'll behave like a normal curve and I'll just drag that curve along. Uh, just like the other one as well, you can turn on lock start and lock end or lock one or the other and you can just kind of again pull along that surface and it'll kind of lock. And we'll go back here. Let's go back to the beginning and then again hit control D. Now if I make a curve here and I have this uh, pass along the curve and you know what, let's go ahead and let's put in an alpha 06, just a simple alpha. So we have this curve here. We can also turn off bend and snap, and that's just going to allow us to move this curve around the surface. So if you need to like place something very precisely, you can go through here, and then if you decide, you know what, hold down Alt, and then punch in, it'll go ahead and just move this around on your surface and deform the surface non-destructively. And if it's too deep, you can just you know decrease your intensity. It'll make it less, or you want it deeper, just increase that intensity. Again, I'm holding down Alt, or I'm letting go of Alt, and again, super non-destructive, just move this thing around for a little bit more precise placement. And you know, it's you can always go back and adjust that as well. Now, like before, if you have a snapshot, which is five, you can hit five and then I'll store a snapshot. Then you can move this down and make a new stroke here. And you can hit five and you can move it down. You can hit five and you can move it down. Now it is not sticking to the surface anymore. So the curve isn't affecting the surface that much. We can tap off. We can try doing like, okay, here's my curve. And then if we turn snap on, I still don't think this is gonna work, but you can do five and pull this off, oh, it seems to be working okay. And then five, and then five, there we go. It'll just kind of snap to the surface. So you can keep repeating the stroke around the surface here. And then you can turn uh, bend back on. And then you can, you know, move this however you'd like, non-destructively. And let's say we want to go the other way. We'll hit five. Oops, go ahead and turn uh, bend off, but we'll keep snap on. And then you can hit five and five and five and just continue to kind of build up those those strokes. So it's probably my it's probably one of my more favorite ones here. You can do a lot of cool stuff with like cloth sculpting or very precise placement. And again, it's non-destructive, so you can go through here and you can swap out alphas on the fly. Then you can, you can hold down Alt and push it in or let it, let it go or decide you want to switch. And you can even go in here to alpha if you want to rotate this around. You can say flip vertically and then tap, and then your arrow is going the other way. And then we can hit five for a snapshot, move this one over, alpha, flip vertically, hold down alt, make it go the other way, tap off to delete it. And now you can get, you know, very, very nice uh, shapes and are connected and very precisely placed. Now, like I said before, uh, let's go ahead and drag again, drag all the way back and then hit control D to get a little more resolution. Uh, if we have our standard brush here and we just drag it out, we're sculpting with our standard brush. At any point you can go over here and turn on curve mode for the standard brush and you have the exact same functionality. Uh, seems like it's doing a little bit something weird. Oh, let's go ahead and turn snap on. So there we go, we have the standard brush and it's kind of building up. Uh, of course, this is the dot stroke. So if you want to go ahead and put in drag dot, there you go. So now you have 
drag dot functionality. You can hold down Alt and kind of punch this in, make the intensity even higher. Uh, the intensity is turned on, so if you want to turn that off, that'll be a more consistent stroke all the way across. Or like we did before, you can say intensity, maybe low, medium, high. Let's crank that intensity up just a bit. For again, very precise, non-destructive placement. And uh, the blue marker here, the blue is, is you're over here, it changes the brush size. It's not going to, I mean, it'll affect how the stroke, how big the stroke is that affects your uh, mesh. You can just go out here and make your brush size bigger or smaller, and then click and drag. And then there's our smaller stroke, and then we'll go make it a bigger stroke. However, when we go back to, when we hover over the line, it turns blue, and that's going to be what how big the manipulator is that's going to affect your mesh. If you want to make that smaller, that's when you tap S and make that smaller. And then you can manipulate smaller versions of these points. And if you want to smooth this out, again, you can hit 6, or you can start uh, moving it, and then hold down Shift, and that'll smooth that curve. So you can kind of go along that curve and smooth it out as well. We go make another one as line, we can just drag out a straight line. And then when you let go and we touch, now it'll be a straight line, although standard seems to kind of want to bunch up that curve. Let's go back to our brush curve, oops, sorry, brush deco drag dot. And let's try that again. So we're going to tap off. So we have as line, bend and snap. There we go. So if you want straight arrows, it's going to drop that intensity down. You can just do as line and then tap, and that'll make a nice straight arrow. And then again, you can hold down Alt. There you go.